Hey friends, by request today, I'm going to share with you what I eat in a day. This is the way that I manage to eat healthy in a simplified way so that the healthy option requires minimal effort. This is not to say that my weight is better and I'm no nutritionist, but hopefully sharing what I do is helpful to you. Generally, I wake up between five and 6 a.m. for more productive days and to allow myself some much needed quiet time to myself before my kids wake up. This is definitely my me time. But because waking up early is generally not something I want to do, I've paired this habit with something that genuinely brings me a lot of joy. If you've seen my channel for a bit, you'll know that this for me is lattes. Matcha, coffee, chai, turmeric, whatever. Just give me a latte and I'm a happy camper. So every morning after drinking a glass of water, I prepare myself a latte. On this day, it's my favorite masala chai in powder form. I love this brand because it has no sugar added, which is perfect for me to use with my monk fruit sweetener. This is a much healthier alternative from sugar because it doesn't spike blood sugar and insulin levels, which you'd be surprised if you do your research, many of the zero calorie sweeteners actually spike insulin levels. Monk fruit is pretty fruity tasting to me, so I pair it with teas, but for coffee, my preference is erythritol. My favorite milk for this drink is extra creamy oat milk, but I had a coupon for some free almond milk, so almond milk it is. After heating up some milk, things get a little bit weird. I've swapped out my daily collagen supplement for gelatin. I know, you might be thinking this is gross. It's actually flavorless, but it does thicken my drinks if I let it cool because, well, it's gelatin. So I add my frothed mixture of yumminess and I sprinkle some cinnamon for kicks and giggles. If I were making matcha, I would just use almond milk instead and obviously omit the cinnamon. Because we have chickens, our breakfast Monday through Friday is almost always eggs cooked in different ways. But I try to always add a veggie somehow. Sometimes this means a spinach omelet or scrambled eggs with whatever veggie leftovers we have. On this day, I had some green beans. I add some salt and my favorite seasoning for this Mexican tahine. It's a chili lemon spice mix that's more tangy than spicy. But I removed the label because, well, visual clutter, you guys. Will. Will. -L -L. Will. After a bit of homeschooling, I like to take a break by having my kids help prepare their own snack. So generally, this is something easy and quick to prepare, such as berries with a plant-based yogurt, or my youngest favorite, spinach and banana smoothies. He loves it, and you actually can't taste the spinach. If I want to make a protein version, my favorite protein powder by far is Sun Warrior in either vanilla or strawberry. This is what I used every day while I was on clean keto because it doesn't spike blood sugar levels, it's low carb, it's plant-based, and it doesn't taste chalky like most protein powders do. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of the companies that sell any of the products that I mentioned today. These are products that I've purchased with my own money that I've been using for a long time. If you are interested in trying any of them out though, I will leave a link down in the description box so you can check them out. I have separate videos where I talk about my experience with the keto diet as well as what I ate. And I wanna make it very clear that my primary goal was not to lose weight. I think I was like nine months to a year postpartum when I tried it, but what my initial goal and the reason why I wanted to do it is because I realized that I had a lot of inflammation in my body and I wanted to give my body a reset period. So I did it very, very differently than what you might typically see on social media. And that was because I had a lot of eczema. I was hyperthyroid. I had joint pain. I just had a lot of things that made me realize I needed a break. And so I did it very, very, very differently. I basically omitted dairies, I ate lots and lots of veggies, and so there was a lot of different things that I did that really was with the primary goal of giving my body a reset, a refresh, so that I could remove that inflammation. And I'll spoil it for you, I had amazing results. My eczema cleared, my skin was so much softer, I slept better, I felt better, I had so much energy, the joint pain was gone, ah, oh, yay. And I also did actually lose inches off of my waist. I did have an amazing experience. I'll leave the two videos linked down below in case you wanna check them out. But I do also make it, wanna make it very clear that I'm not any medical professional to be telling you what you should be doing as far as your own diet. This is just what has worked for me, so take it with a grain of salt.
but hopefully they'll be helpful for you. Generally in our home, you'll never really find candies, cookies, or things like that, like pastries. But what we do tend to have is these little protein bars that my husband absolutely loves. They're Nougat bars. I don't know that I can say they're necessarily healthy, but he really enjoys them and he works out in construction. And this is like his treat, I guess, for him. And then what I have for the kiddos, we have another little bit that didn't fit on top here. It's some cliff bars. And these is not something that, again, I would say is particularly healthy, but it, if we're going out, I prefer to give them something like this than buying them junk food or just buying them things out just because we're out and about. So it's more like a, like a treat on sometimes. It's not a daily thing, but we have these. So this, this would be our junk food stash. I also want to share this little sticky note with you. In the process of filming this video, I made a challenge that I would not use my microwave for an entire month. So I placed this little sticky note here as a reminder to me. So if you want to check out how my experience goes, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on that. This has actually been an incredible challenge for me because I felt like I couldn't go without a microwave. So that's precisely why I did it. And I'm very surprised with what I have found. As far as snacking in the home, I generally like for them to have natural things. So we always have a basket of fruit here available, but we don't really have an area that's designated for like junk food or cookies or candies. So if you come to our house, you'll rarely, rarely find those things. This is actually our candy bin. And usually we'll have either cranberries or dark chocolate that we'll have after dinner time. Right here to the left of it is my supplements. This is what I take on a daily basis. And I'm not a doctor. I'm not anyone to really recommend these to you. It's just that I've taken these for a long time. Mega Food has been the brand that I have used for vitamins for years. I love Mega Food because of the way that they're made. They're non-GMO. And I've also researched through lots of different vitamins. And I love them because of the percentages that they have on their different vitamins that they have. So I've been a very happy customer of Mega Food for, oh gosh, at least like five to eight years now. And then the other vitamin that I have here is... Garden of Life is also a brand that I really trust. I specifically started taking a vitamin B after having had thyroid issues, especially being hyperthyroid, it was miserable. And then I found this particular brand that has just the percentages that I really liked. I also like that it has biotin and it really, really, really helped me increase my hair growth. This paired with either a collagen or my gelatin has been like gold for me when it comes to just improving my hair, my skin, just overall health. In the past, I have taken collagen. Currently, I'm using gelatin. I've kind of really made a deal with myself that I'd try it for at least six months because I read a study that showed significant improvement in hair growth within a year span. I didn't really want to do an entire year, but actually within just a few months of taking this, I noticed a huge difference. I have a ton of baby hairs. So these are basically the supplements I take on a daily basis. It's either gelatin or collagen. Lately, it's been gelatin, a multivitamin, and my vitamin B complex. There are supplements that I take that I don't take all the time, but sometimes is cod liver oil. These are the two brands that I have tried. I, I like them both. I wish I could find an organic version because this one has like, I think it says organic lemon, but I'm like, okay, big deal. That's not actually organic the entire thing, but I haven't found one. So if you've got any suggestions, you let me know. I know a lot of people that swear by omegas, uh, but for me, I found that taking them in liquid form has been a lot more helpful than pills. And then sometimes I also take a probiotic, Currently, I'm not taking a probiotic. One, because I like to give my body a rest, so I'll take it for a few months and then take a break, just so that my microbiome doesn't get used to it, but then also because they're kind of hefty in price. But this is the one that I use, no surprise, Mega Food. This is the one that my kids are currently taking. Again, I'm not sponsored by them, even though I would totally take a sponsorship because I did significant research on different vitamins. I love that they're non-GMO. I love the way that they formulate their probiotics specifically though. I researched many, many different uh, probiotics because <laughs> a lot of them are sneaky. They will sell you a, a very expensive bottle for strains that aren't even helpful for your body. And these have a lot of really, really good strains. So I really love this particular probiotic. Our body is mostly bacteria, so it makes sense that a probiotic would be helpful. But a tip if you've never taken a probiotic for is that they should be stored in a refrigerator because they're a living organism. So it makes sense that you'd want to preserve them. And nobody asked, but I'm gonna show you our pantry. This is basically where we store all of our canned goods and all of our processed foods. And you can see that it's not a whole lot of canned stuff because we mainly like to eat things that are fresh, a lot of different vegetables. But I still also don't really think that it's like horrible to never eat these sorts of things. And especially now that I'm a homeschool mom, I am cooking all the time. And I've also been doing my 30 day challenge of not using a microwave. And I honestly think I'm gonna continue. So on the weekends, I have been doing these little packaged 
pancakes, basically quick and easy. They're totally not healthy, but whatever, screw it. Like we eat healthy during the week. So I think that uh, once a week, letting it go, it's totally fine. But we do a lot of different things. Like for example, if I were to make the kids pasta, I generally make them with something like the chickpea pasta. And then I make my own sauce with cauliflower and I put it in the Vitamix. So I make it in a healthier version. One of the things that I love to do is these shiitake noodles. So if they are wanting something that does have noodles in them, it's something that's not gonna spike their blood sugar levels. It's a lot, a lot healthier. Not to mention they're already packaged so that you don't really need to cook them. Personally, I found that it's a lot easier to stick with healthy eating. If you basically focus on eating lots of different veggies, then you don't end up feeling like you're limiting yourself. Like, oh, I can never have pancakes with uh, sugar or whatever that is or I can never have pasta. I mean, it's fine if we do those things. I'm never really beating myself up over those things anymore because we eat healthy most of the time. So treats are okay. And I do not feel guilty eating pancakes on the weekends. Since I showed you the other side of my pantry, I guess I'll show you this as well. But I also wanted to take the time to tell you that I think it's so much easier to eat well if you kind of take into account what actually goes into your home. Because if you have things that are healthy, that have nutrition, then you don't have to worry about having uh, the desire to eat a whole bunch of junk because the junk that you do have is very limited or it's really a more healthier version. So this kind of, for me, eliminates that worry of having willpower and having to just constantly struggle because I have junk food in the house because, well, I don't really have it here. So nothing to worry about. For today's lunch, I'm having one of my favorites, chickpea salad. Typically I add whatever veggies or toppings I have and some pickled or fresh onions. In the summer, I especially love to make it with a sweet dressing and strawberries or add some avocado with a creamy dressing. My dressing of choice today is lemon garlic dressing. Yum! I love chickpeas, so I generally batch cook them with my slow cooker. I cook on high for eight hours with chopped carrots, herbs from the garden, my favorites are thyme and rosemary, salt, and my favorite vegetable bouillon, free of MSG but packed with flavor, better than bouillon. Sometimes I have this by itself as a soup, use them in a stir fry instead of rice, or drain them and serve them cold with pico de gallo and lime. It's like my super easy version of ceviche. Generally, I also freeze a portion for lazy days. My future me thanks me. I often fast in the evenings or just eat last night's leftovers, but for the sake of showing you dinner, I'll show you a typical dinner in my home. I love cooking veggies on a pan with salt and herbs, and I often cook different veggies and serve them with a protein. Sometimes it's last night's chickpeas, but on this day, my husband was in the mood for shrimp. I seasoned the shrimp with tahini because I could basically put that stuff on everything. Loading my fridge with veggies, keeping my meals simple and batch prepping basics helps me to eat much healthier with very minimal effort. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss when I post a new video. And feel free to let me know what other videos you'd love to see from me in the future. Until next time, bye for now.